Hey folks, Phil Platon, BadAstronomy.com here. In January of 2014, Atlanta, Georgia got hit by a bit of a freak snowstorm. Put down about two inches of snow and ice in the town, which basically paralyzed everything. Now, what I wasn't expecting was a conspiracy theory about this storm. Of course, there can be a conspiracy theory about anything if you're imaginative enough, and this one's pretty imaginative. You see, it wasn't actually snow that fell. It was geoengineered snow or government-made snow, and it was deposited by airplanes via chemtrails, and, and maybe it's made of nanorobots, and yeah, right? Well, this came about because what people were doing somehow, and I'm not really sure how this started, but they would make a snowball, and then they would take a lighter and hold it up to the snowball, and they would expect the snow to melt into water, of course, and then drip off the snowball. And that's not what happened. Instead, they would hold up the lighter, and the snow would sort of collapse in on itself. It wouldn't drip any water. And then the snow would get scorched, like it was burning, like it wasn't made of water. Because, of course, water can't burn. But that's not really what's going on, and that's what I want to show you. It's snowing here in Boulder right now a little bit, but we've had uh, six, seven inches of snow over the past couple of days. Uh, this is a freshly laid snow uh, bank right here. You can see it's uh, sitting on the, uh, on the side here, and there is no, there are no marks in this. I haven't done anything to this. This is just plain old snow that fell from the sky. So I'm going to make a snowball here, decent sized one. You can see it's, you know, snow, right? And I happen to have a lighter. This is a normal lighter, store-bought, name brand. I won't say the name, but pretty much what you'd expect. So let me bring the snowball up here, and I'll bring it right up here so you can see it. And I'm going to turn the lighter on. Boop. There you go. And I'm going to put that right here. Now watch what happens. You expect the snow to drip, right? The water to drip? Not Well, a little bit of drippage, but not much in there. Nothing. Right? The snow is just collapsing, like when you put styrofoam under, under a chemical or something like that. And it's so what you're seeing here is pretty much what you see in those other videos. And if I hold it like this, you really expect it to drip, and it doesn't. And I don't know if you can see that here, but there's a little bit of a scorch mark right there. And I wonder if I can make it scorch a little bit more. Ah, there we go. So what's going on? Well, what I think is going on here is two things, actually. One is that the snow is melting. It is turning from solid into liquid, turning from ice into water. But where is it going? It's not dripping. I don't think it's evaporating or sublimating, turning directly from a solid into a gas. I think where it's going is into the snowball, right? I think that as it turns into water, the snow itself is absorbing that water and becoming slushy. This is the same thing that happens when you make a snow cone, right? You have ice in a cone, you pour the syrup on it, and that syrup gets absorbed into the cone. It doesn't drip out. So I think that's what's happening here. Uh, the water is still in here, the snow is still here, it's just now in the water and it's been absorbed in. But what's going on with the burn marks? Well, it turns out that is simply from the butane. That is the chemical that fills up a lighter. That's an organic compound, which means it's made of a simple uh, molecule that's made up of carbon and hydrogen, and when you burn it, it reacts with oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide and water. However, it doesn't burn perfectly efficiently, and what happens is the carbon atoms can reform and rebond with each other and with other stuff and form soot. That's what soot is. It's a very complex carbon molecule. It turns black, it absorbs light. And so what's happening is when you hold the lighter up to the snow, it's not that the snow is scorching, it's that the incomplete combustion products, this, this pollution, this soot, is basically coming out of the flame itself and then uh, plating itself onto the snowball. That's what's going on. And I can actually prove this, I believe, that this will melt and turn into water like any normal snow by taking this and doing something that nobody else in those videos thought to do, and that is let the snowball melt. So what I'm going to do is bring the snowball inside into my kitchen. I'm going to put it in a hot pan, and through the magic, actually the science of time-lapse photography, we can see this actually melting and turning into water. Well, in that time lapse, you could see the snow was melting, but what you probably couldn't see very clearly, at least, is that as the water formed from the melting snow, it got absorbed into the snowball itself, and you could see the level of the water rising. It's pretty cool. Well, in the time lapse, that may have been tough, so what I'm going to do is film another snowball, this one made from the same snow, in the pan, and you'll be able to see it in real time. 
And that way, you'll notice that the water is being absorbed by the snowball. So let me zoom in on this pan and we'll go. And here we go. Give it a few seconds. It's melting. And you can see the water line. There it is. And as more of the snow melts from the bottom up, the water gets sucked into the snow itself. See? It's turning into a slush ball. And that is what's happening in those videos. That's where the water is going. It's going into the snowball itself, not dripping away as you might expect. So there you have it, folks. There's no big conspiracy here. This is not some man-made chemical meant to control your brains and have you vote for somebody they want you to or to give all your money to late night TV infomercials or, or whatever it is that this huge conspiracy is trying to make you do. It, this isn't a chemical. This wasn't deposited by airplanes. This isn't nanobots. This is what we call, you know, snow. And snow is made of of water. And in places where it gets cold, that water falls from the sky in the form of snow.